What are you doing, lazy boy? Let's turn your air conditioner up. We'll leave it on low for now, Lily. Because there's no sense running it on high. It's just not. Waddles, whoa. Look at these lazy girls. What you doing? Oh, I gotta get to work. You guys ready to work? Doesn't look like it. Well, we're back out here in the shop. We gotta get some work done today. Got to. I've been sitting on my butt for two weeks. I know. But I've accomplished some good things. Been working on my channel and doing some other things. But we are out here today and the goal is to build this other side of the bench and start on the tables for the laser machines. Now, I have decided that all I'm going to build for workbenches is this back wall. I've got my plywood for the tops. Hopefully we might get to that today, but I don't know. I am not going to put a bench there. I don't see any reason for having any more benches than what I got here. And then these will be, these are going lower, these will be my laser, for tables for my laser engravers. Now, what I've decided to do is make a space for two laser machines. That's what I have now. I haven't even opened one out of the box. And instead of using that vent, because these things emit smoke and fumes and you have to vent them to the outside. That's too big. What the heck was that? <laughs> that is strange. Why would something just fall like that over there? But it did. Anyway, that's too big. They're only four inches. So I'm going to have my two machines side by side right in here. And then I'm going to drill a hole through the wall. Four inch hole, just like you would. Uh, if you were running a dryer and it, and it has the same type of vent hose but I'm going to vent two machines out of one I'll have to get a T I can get that at my local hardware store and then we're still going to leave this there later for any future you know any future things I get I don't know what's making noise over in this corner this thing just fell is there a mouse in here I don't think a mouse could get in here I don't know what's going on Man, this place ain't old enough to be haunted. Look at this. Got a screwdriver hanging there ready to just launch at me. And the reason for just leaving the workbenches, I mean, how much, how many workbenches are you going to work on at one time? You know, there's no sense in having them. And that leaves me room because honestly, this building is not that big. And as I built this one, I, I could see by putting some here you know you're losing a lot of space plus if I'm gonna put one here it's gonna butt up to this one so all this space eh, it's gonna go to waste kinda D don't need one here and I got room for rolling toolboxes whatever I might put and cabinets or my podcast studio I'm thinking that's what I may do back here but that's not gonna take up a lot of space so for today, we're going to get this one finished, add the braces, get the shelves, uh, braces for the bottom shelf, get them on. Now I am making this to where I can put cabinet doors on it. I think that would really look nice then as to leaving them open. So we're going to build it to where I'll, I'll have a brace, uh, probably, I might even go three doors, I don't know. But we'll see how that goes. It would look, you know, much cleaner in here with doors on it. So that you don't see a bunch of junk in there. And I actually, when I did my measurements for this, it's, you know, if, if, if the bench ended right here, then it would be exactly half. But I didn't ca account for the extra one and a half inches. So this one's actually either going to be shorter or I'm going to have to take these pieces off which I'm not going to bother with that's extra bracing so we'll just measure what this is here and get that cut for that uh, so enough yapping let's get to chapping chopping building I don't know and if you guys are new to my channel because I put on about 900 new subscribers this is the kind of thing I do a lot building projects 
unfinished projects. Those are the best kind because then I got content for later, right? All right. Did y'all like my breakfast? I got to say something to you guys. If you're going to go do carnivore and you're eating one or two eggs, you're wrong. A grown human being eats more eggs than two eggs. Eat half a dozen. I usually make five. I'm still hearing that noise. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. But eat enough eggs to matter. And bacon. A lot of people, oh, my doctor says I can't eat bacon. Yeah, you can. There's no studies that prove that bacon causes any kind of... I breathe better than I ever have right now. And I don't have uh, any chest pains anymore. So, you know, go watch uh, Dr. Ken Berry. He'll tell you all about bacon. Oh, let's see. I, turn, I think I know what it is. When I turned on the AC... It's a blowing over here, and this is acetone. That's the popping I hear. This thing's cooling down. I need to get that out of here. I need to get all this cleaned out, man. All right, I've talked long enough. Let's get to work. Okay, okay. Got to cut these down. I originally cut these the same as the other one, and they're not going to work. Is that an indication? Of how the day's gonna be. Alright. Fifty and a quarter. I hate this Canadian tape measure. Yes, it's in metric. Why do they sell it? Why do they sell Canadian tape measures in America? You stay there, pencil. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Stacked itself. All right. Fifty and a quarter. Where to put my pencil? That's not, ah, uh-huh, uh-huh, my memory's getting better. Six months ago, I would have never remembered it was there. <laughs> Stack yourself. Y'all getting bored yet? We already seen you cut two. How many we got to watch you cut? Don't stack yourself in my way. Oh, man. And for you new subscribers, projects always go smooth. I never forget nothing, trust me. I mean, I'm like, I'm a well-oiled machine when it comes to this stuff. Shh. You old time subscribers, don't be telling them nothing. <laughs> I missed. All right, we got one more to cut. Then I got to cut all the little ones. But I'm going to spare you that. And I do need a new saw blade for this. And the way you can tell, when it starts getting rough like that, when you after you cut it, you need a new saw blade. But this saw blade built this whole addition. Fifty and a quarter. And then after I cut these, I'm going to make sure they're all the same. Get out of the way. Okay. Half your half your videos cutting. Uh, they're not gonna like that. 
It's not gonna get any views. <laughs> Missed. All right. Let's just get a rough guesstimate. And make sure that we're... what is this? It's got to be a string or something. It's driving me nuts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good. Why are you wearing your glasses? You ain't reading nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to take these in, and I'm going to get another 2 by 4 and cut some more. Then we're going to start putting it together. pieces cut now it's just a matter of putting them together i'll put a time lapse on that i won't i won't eat up no more time talking but i was talking to my father yesterday and uh he was tell he told me something after 40 years 40 years that he has my coin collection that i had as a kid now, I used to collect coins, I collected stamps, I collected, oh, you name it, I collected it. But he told me they found a jar, well, they moved it around everywhere they've been, all over the last 40 years. And I'm thinking, man, that would be a cool video, to get that collection, and get it on the table, and pour everything out. Uh, some are in books, in, you know, in the little coin envelope thing, the clear little coin holders and just pour them out on the table go through them see if there's something valuable would you guys watch that now i left home when i was 17 when i went in the army and so i have not seen this collection i don't even remember it um i i remember collecting them but i i thought i might have sold them i didn't i always wondered what happened to all them coins i had i don't know how many it is but it would be cool if I was to go through them and find something like an 1877 Indian head penny, those are rare. I think a 1909 S sweet penny, uh, one of them 1909s. I think that's the first year they made them. Uh, but there could be something in there about you. Could be something, you know, I was a kid. You got to remember, I was a kid and I was buying what a kid could afford. And it wasn't worth much then. But I might have had, you know, I didn't know anything about coins. Well, I probably knew more than I do now. But no, because I watch metal detecting shows and I learn stuff. But if you, if you think that would be a cool video, I'll do it. Uh, i got to wait until we meet up with them again. They're going to bring it. And then uh, we'll just, I wonder what else they got. I hope they didn't get any of my old underwear or none of that stuff. Certainly they wouldn't have hung on to things like that. All right, man. Hey. I'd like to sit here and chat with you guys all day, but there ain't no work getting done. I got to get some work done, so let's let's go.
All right. Well, this one gave me a little bit of a fight. And it's a tight squeeze, let me tell you. I'm just going to have to get in. Well, that's how I want it, though. Ain't too bad. As long as the walls are somewhat square. Definitely going to need to touch up the blue paint. Oh, that fits good. Lily, what are you barking at? I'm expecting a package. And half the time now, I don't hear her when she comes. I use it, but it's a small one. It's a, a mixing board for my microphone. Because I cannot get my microphones to cooperate this month. They're not to the quality I want them. What am I doing? This, this, this isn't the tool you need. You're for drywalling. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's good enough. All right. So now what I'm going to do, aw, oh, wasp, it's combat time, come on. I need, I need, I need it, uh-huh, oh man, I seen where you went, oh, out of there. I know, I know wasp boo, wasp boo, I know y'all can't see it, Mel, uh, Melly, every little loud noise, oh, I got him. I tell you, I am the wasp poo master. Okay. Get some cross braces cut. For the top, for the bottom. And I'm going to be putting a big, pretty big vise in here. And I think I'm wanting to put it right here in the center. That way if I'm trying to vise something that's... Uh, buy something that's pretty long now I got plenty of room so I want extra support here I want to get a pretty good size one uh, I have one outside in that bench that thing's so rusted it won't it doesn't it's not what I want so on this bench I'm gonna have a vise and, and a grinding wheel so they'll probably be together I don't know yet it doesn't make sense to put a vise on the end of a workbench so in the center and I want to bolt it in with lag bolts so it don't go anywhere. And, and then up here we're going to have pegboard. So I don't really need to worry about touching that up. That's why I didn't do a great job on the taping. Woo, it's a terrible job if you can see that. And uh, let's, get the, let's get that done. Get the tops cut. Get them on. Get the bottom shelf on. Go from there. So this morning I went to town. Went to the grocery store, needed some eggs, bacon, you know. And then as I drove by the hardware store, I said to myself, Self, you got enough screws to finish this project today? And, uh, and I said, Yes, Self, I do. Well, guess what? I don't. All right, I think I got another box in the house. What do we get in here? That's yeah, empty. Got another house in the box. I gotta go look for them. If not, I got 9,000 on the floor. I just put a couple of screws in the wall. One there, one there, one there. That's all it needs. These ain't going anywhere. These are perfectly stable. Strong. So I got those two braces. I already got these cut. But I gotta go find screws, man. And then we're going to cut this top, this plywood. And it is blistering hot out there. But we're going to get it done. Because we don't complain about such things on this channel. We don't. We just get out and do it. Be back in a minute. Man, i got to get another battery for you guys. Because you're about dead. But I was able to locate a partial. And by partial, I mean very few screws and I know I got more somewhere else but I got the top braces in I'm gonna go ahead and cut the plywood for the top and I've got to change my saw blade I finally got the right one I had to order it the other one I had was a, a seven and a half which my saw is a six and a half so now I gotta order a new saw that it'll fit you can't have too many tools man 
and I need to get these saw horses outside and uh, these things were kind of warped when I bought them and I took some clamps and clamped them together and they kind of straightened out being in here in the shed. Uh, these are 5 8 inch thick, plenty thick enough. Got the braces in the top. Uh, if I put my vise right here, that should be fine if I line it up. I may have to uh, come in here later. I don't know. It'll, it'll, it'll work. I'll get it to work. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut two pieces to go across here so that when I do get it, I don't have to mess with it and tear it apart. All right. I'm going to get this blade changed. That's boring. And I said, wouldn't you like to fly in my beautiful balloon? Take your ass up way up high in my beautiful balloon. And we can Work benchage. Get on out of here. Good Lord, that is perfect. I did not plan on that brace being there because you know this is only eight foot sheets. I got a router I can get that straight. All right, good workbench. And I do have screws for this. Whoo! I had to wait. It's been a while. I had to wait for a battery to charge and I put that new saw blade on man what a difference a new blade makes all right let's get this dude get the other piece cut would there be a fair maiden out there with some grapes and some palm leaves you know so I can eat grapes and you guys two of, I need two of you it's strong this is also be a good napping area. Boy, I'm not used to laying down. Woo-wee! I ain't never gonna get up. Mm. All right, enough goofing around. Let's get this thing done. Guys, I spared you the 750 screws to attach the top. Uh, she's nice and solid. And I did put two more braces across here. This is where I'm going to put my vise. So I want this really good and solid, and I also want some meat there to put lag bolts um, for the vise. And uh, I'm going to spare you. I'm going to continue working, get these bottoms on. Uh, there's a lot more work involved for the bottoms because I got to notch out where these legs are. But we'll get that done, and I got to look for some blades for my jigsaw. I got all that stuff. I just don't know where. That's the idea. One of the ideas behind this shop is to get all my tools. You know, with the probably the exception of yard tools, we'll keep those in that other building because that has all the pay. It, you know, anything that's not related um, to woodworking or what I'm going to be doing in here will stay in that shed. But everything else we'll bring in, and I'm going to have plenty of, you know, this will all be pegboard, maybe a piece there, or actually probably there, a shelf for screws. I'm saving that big bin of screws for a big rainy day, and I'm going to sit here and sort them out. I've been saving my coffee jars. I'm going to peel the labels off and make, some, make it nice looking, build a rack for them. So I got all my screws, that way I need something, I just dig through them, I can see what, what, what I got going on. Alright, so I'm going to get to cutting these. I actually, I wanted to come out, I have a three quarter inch overhang. But if I had done that, then I would have wasted a whole other, I couldn't, because a, a sheet of plywood is 48 inches, so these are 24. If I would have added three quarters, that would have shorted the bottom. And that would have wasted material. Now, plywood came down a lot. It, this was only $31 a sheet. Last time I bought it, it was like $64. So I was kind of, that's why I went ahead and got it. Because who knows when it's going to go up again. All right. 
I guess that's it. And uh, I got an e-bike to go in there and put up, put together, do a do a review on. One of them I will be donating for the dog tober for the dog rescue. I got another one coming. I know that'll be donated too. I don't need seven e-bikes, but that's what I'm doing with them, guys. So I would I would appreciate it if you watch the reviews when I do them. I try to make them fun, and that should be out in the next few days. And my recliner got to do it on that man. That thing is awesome. It is awesome. You'll hear about that in. That's not going to be its own video. I'll put that in with another video. So, all right, workbench is done. She is attached to the wall. She is saw. Oh, I keep forgetting the dogs are under there, and every time I make noise, it scares them. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.